A new study showing that drinking a glass of red wine is just as good as spending an hour at the gym. But how can that be? Dr. Siegel, I need the deets. Well, do you drink red wine? I drink red. I prefer white because I think it's fun. But I do drink red for the properties, the health properties. Well, and I think resveratrol is legitimate, although it's been studied mainly in animals. But I think it improves heart function. I think that it can be good to decrease inflammation. It may even decrease certain kinds of cancer, but it needs more studying. But it's also found in peanut butter. It's found in blueberries. It's found in red grapes. You don't have to drink wine for this. But I and want I, to drink the wine. And, <laughs> and you should, but you shouldn't do it, in my opinion, instead of exercise. I'm not a fan of this study because exercise is very different. You can't even quantify what exercise does. You go to the gym every morning. You don't want to eat after that. You know, you, you drink water instead of that. It changes the hunger hormones in the brain. It too is an anti-inflammatory. Exercise has been well studied and decreases your risk of heart disease and cancer. I'm for exercise first, red wine second. I agree. Or you can I have agree. both, right? You can have <laughs> red wine. Hey, you can have red wine and you can exercise at the same time. Now, there are a lot of studies about respiratory. At the same time. Uh, no, he means like you do exercise. Meaning like, like you don't, it doesn't have to be either or. It can or. coexist. Right. 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 Well, so basically, there are a lot of studies that shows that it can actually uh, sensitize the insulin receptors exactly. and there are some studies that it may reduce the risk of diabetes we know that based on this Canadian study it can boost your heart function and the muscles in the heart now a lot of these are in animal labs the question is I'm waiting for you how much red wine do I need to be drinking in order for this to work you got to have gallons and gallons of, of red wine which is going to affect your liver and it doesn't work but I think one glass a night socially is perfectly fine if you don't have liver disease if you're not taking any other medication that can affect your liver that's perfectly fine respiratory pills yeah. and a lot of these like like vitamins that I has respiratory yeah. there are a lot of variable ingredients they're not effective and a lot of studies shows that it doesn't work oh so I don't because have to take them it doesn't work okay. so so should what, you have a glass of red wine what, instead of maybe taking those yes pills? because resveratrol in red yeah, wine get it is in very different than the supplement oh. or get it in the other food that you could eat but you know I want to emphasize a point that David just mentioned here which is watch out what the study shows you know you might want to look on the internet now and suddenly you'll see headlines Red wine is better for than exercise, or is as good. But they forget to mention that you have to use gallons and gallons and gallons of the stuff to get the amount of resveratrol. You mean gallon, at one time, or like over well, like a well, year, over a short period of time, which okay. is not possible. Basically, so the it's anti, not a good study. The antioxidants, the polyphenols that you have in dark chocolate. We mm -hmm. talked about berries. Right. We talk about wine. All of them are, are good. And if you add exercise to it, okay. you're going to look healthy like this. Well, anyone in Sunday? We got a dark, dark chocolate. <laughs>